Hello YouTube, I wanted to do a video today. I know it's been a little while since I've put a video up, but I did come across something um, that has got me really excited. I wanted to share it with my subscribers here and anybody else who's interested. And that program is called XBMC. If you don't know what that is, like I didn't until, you know, probably a couple weeks ago, um, it is a media center uh, program, okay, or software that you can install on any operating system as far as I know I mean it's it there's installers uh, for Windows uh, Mac I believe has one as well Linux has one um, you can put it on Android devices you, you can put it on uh, um, your iPhone iPad iPod whatever I believe iPod um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's got one as well so pretty much anything you can get XM, XBMC for um, quick note about XBMC. What I'm showing you here on the screen, this is actually what you know. These are these are kind of screenshots of what it actually kind of looks like, um, so that you can kind of get an idea. Here, I'll open one up so you can kind of hopefully hopefully it'll clear up here, <laughs> or maybe not. You can click on that. Maybe it'll maybe it'll actually show you kind of what it looks like. But it's it's really kind of a a desktop almost application that allows you to view streaming video um, you have to add your what they call add-ons and essentially add-ons are really just channels and it's it's not really too difficult to do um, to install them but uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a little bit and I'm I'm actually gonna show you how to do the install wow this is not working okay well that's taking a long time here Let's try this one there. You can see it better there. Um, but this is essentially what the interface looks like. Okay, um, and as you can see, you've got, you know, this actually is weather, not other. It's weather, pictures, videos, music, programs, and there's, I believe, settings back here. Um, and I will show you all this here in a minute. Um, but as you can see, you basically go into what would be the add-ons, and once you've installed the add-ons, you you can basically view any streaming um, media, which TV shows, movies, you know, and some of these are really impressive. My understanding is a lot of these servers are overseas or whatever, um, so they don't apparently get in trouble with you know copyright inf infringement or anything like that. I'm not exactly sure how it all works, but this has been around for like five or six years, XBMC. Um, actually, maybe it was even longer than that because X XBMC stands for, if I'm not mistaken, Xbox Media Center is what it stands for. And from my understanding, the history of it, it evolved as a hack for the um, Xbox and has just become something just really, really fantastic um, that allows you to watch, you know, movies and TV shows over the Internet. Um, which really does a pretty good job of eliminating the need for satellite. Out where I live, we have to have satellite. We can't get we can't get cable out here, and for us, you know, satellite's pretty expensive. It's over two hundred dollars a month, um, so we can uh, look at maybe getting rid of that even because we really don't need it anymore. And I'm like I said, I'm going to show you all this here in a little bit. Um, but this video here is is going to be for for um, Arch Linux, um, how to do the install with it. Very very simple. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Let me get a terminal open and drag it over here so you can see what I'm doing. And the command is very simply sudo, whoops, pacman, right, dash capital S, XBMC. Do that. Stick your password in. It's going to ask you. You see it's a very small file. It's only 60 megabytes big. Um, the program itself it's got again it's going to come with no add-ons or anything in it this is a very bait this is the base install so you hit yes i'd be very surprised if in other linux applications or other linux uh, distributions they do not have this um, already uh, in in the repositories uh, being that it is that it is very very popular um, but that's essentially all you have to do to install it you don't have to do anything extra okay um, I did install LIRC, uh, which is the remote controller support. I don't, you don't necessarily have that. You can do everything with your mouse, uh, which is what I'm going to do here instead of using my uh, 
I, I bought a little PC remote that's, you know, it's got a USB and you know, infrared, um, which is actually pretty nice. I only gave like $4.50 for it on eBay, um, and it works in Linux as well, so I'm pretty happy with it. Well, at least most of it works in Linux. Everything that you really need, the arrow keys, things like that, but I'm not going to get into all that right now. But that's essentially the install, so on the next video, um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Uh, and uh, show you basically uh, start walking through it um, real quickly before before I go um, I do want to kind of address kind of an issue uh, with it with, with my particular installation when when I install it and I open it up for the first time um, it will open up and the default video output setting will be um, full screen num for me it says full screen number run now I run two monitors, and you guys don't see my second monitor over to the right here um, because I don't I don't record it. But what will happen is is XBMC will actually open up in full screen over on the other monitor, and I have to uh, kind of adjust a setting in order to get it on the right screen. Um, this screen that you're seeing right here is my 42 inch um, HDMI, you know, uh, TV that I use as a monitor. Um, so definitely, this is this is the screen that I would want to be watching uh, watching my content on, whatever it is. So what I have to do is I have to put it in windowed mode, and I will show you that in the next video as far as the settings, and I'll explain this again. But you have to put it in window mode. Um, you have to accept it as far as because it's going to change the resolution, so you have to accept it. Move the window over here, and then you can actually go back into a into the window settings itself and uh, make it so that it always opens at full screen on the correct monitor which I will actually run through I mean it's it might not apply to a lot of people but it, it, it could apply to several people like like I said um, I run multiple monitors so I'm gonna put that information out there for, for people that need it it's not gonna take real long but anyway um, I'm gonna cut this video and you know, make sure to watch the next video. Like I said, I'm going to be going through um, how to do the setup and how to do the install of your very first um, repository. And oh, that was my coffee pot. My <laughs> my uh, the the repository and your first channels. Okay. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and cut this, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.